Did you hear that? What's going on outside? Am I gonna die? Hey all you cool creatures. Today we are going to play Post Memory, which is by the same person who made the Silver Thread games, as well as Symbiosis. But this is a submission to the 6th Annual Spooktober Visual Novel Jam. And what it is about is that you are a postman in a remote town, and you slowly uncover the secrets that lie underneath the surface. Or don't. The choice is in your hands. There are four endings. And there is another route planned in the future. The content warnings include cartoon blood and violence, heavy themes relating to religion and death, so viewer discretion is advised. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Deliver letters and packages to keep our residents happy. Stay in your assigned town. You're, you're not allowed to leave without a permit. What? If you see anyone suspicious or unfamiliar, get rid of them. What? <laughs> and remember... Serve our customers with a smile. No guarantees, but okay. Okay, the fact that their name is Monday is really cute. Uh, that's the gist of your work. Easy enough, right? A well-dressed priest greets you with a casual smile. It's not that big of a town. Once you're used to the job, we'll start giving you more responsibilities. Every morning, the letters will be inside that blue cupboard in the back. Your first letter should be addressed to me. The church is in the north part of the town. You can't miss it. Just keep going up. Go on, pick up the letter. Okie doke. You open up the locker to look for today's deliveries. You have one letter. Good job. Now you're ready for your delivery. Why is... Why is my boss a priest? <laughs> I'm just subbing in. There's not a lot of people around here. You do have a co-worker, but he's out doing his own deliveries at the moment. He should be back soon. Go ask him if you have more questions. I do have other business to take care of, so I will be leaving now. I'll be waiting for my letter. Good luck. Remember, the church is just up north. Oh, and remember to come to church every Sunday. The whole town's gathered there. We're cute. Oh my god, her name is Raphael. Uh, I do want to. I do want to see what the other question gives us. So give me a minute. Can't I just give the letter to you now? No. This is training. Okay. All right. <laughs> a record of townspeople and their approval ratings. 
Is it a rating of your skills as a postman or something else? Monday, birthday, spring 14. Do we, are we able to like actually make friends and stuff in this? Um, let's see. A priest who works at the church doesn't seem too religious, easygoing, and is usually seen with a smile. Well, we're not even on there yet. A poster of the company's messages. Remember to greet everyone with a smile. A po okay. Be wary of strangers. If you see an unfamiliar face, immediately report it to the company. Why is that different than the instructions we were given? The door is locked. Knock. You knock and wait. There is no answer. Try to pick lock it? Ooh, um... No, okay. You failed. Maybe you need a tool for this. Oh, it's fascinating. So, hitting, um... The shift key, instead of running, it slows me down. The label says that these are lost items, items that didn't manage to get delivered for one reason or another. There are four shelves worth. Let's leave it alone for now. I should save. All right, look. Ten. Ooh. You found some makeup powder. Hmm. Okay, I think that's the only thing I can grab there. Money! Oh, 10G! Well, good enough? Alright, north. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna go with Nonaginta Town, though. All right, just keep heading north. What the heck? This is so cute. Hmm. An abandoned vehicle. The door's unlocked, surprisingly, but you don't find anything in its ignition. Even if you have the key, you doubt this still runs. Do you even know how to drive? You can't remember. Huh. Hmm. A little disturbed by that. Door's locked. Doesn't seem to be open. There's something very wrong with this town. I'm getting that picture right now. This building is vacant. That's the hospital. That's not good. Doors locked. Doesn't seem to be open. You can hear some shuffling inside. Hmm. Why is this place so spooky? What the heck? Anyhow, hello. Now, what if I delivered the letter to the wrong place? Will I get an ending? You don't, Okay, you don't have anything to deliver, so it won't even let me. Hey, boss. You haven't delivered the letter yet? I'm here for you. Oh, okay. You put it in the mailbox. It's part of your orientation. 
If you want to talk to me, we can do it after. Oh, okay, boss. All right. Congratulations on your first delivery. I love how it's system instead of narrator. It makes me think of those transmigration novels a bit. Oh. Oh no, the music is going quiet. As soon as you slid the letter inside the mailbox, a hooded figure approached you from the bridge. <gasps> Quietly, they pull out a gun. You, give me that letter. What is wrong with this town? Or pay the price. They spoke in a muffled voice, masking what the real voice would sound like. The barrel glints under the sunlight. What will you do? Actually, let's run first. You run away as fast as you can. They're a good shot, unfortunately. Day one. Letters delivered, money earned. Okay, le de letters delivered, one. Money earned, 10G. Huh. You're floating. There is a cool pressure on your skin as the water carries you. You open your eyes to the morning sky, sunlight still permeating through the water. You let the ocean lead you as you slowly let go. You woke up in a bedroom with no memory of how you found your way here. Hmm. There was a gunshot and... You draw a blank. Are we in purgatory or something? Hmm. I see. A calendar. It's been two days since you came here. It's a set of identical outfits, same as the one you're wearing. You can't find anything that's not your uniform. Alright, give me a minute. I want to see how the other choices go. You, give me that letter. Or pay the price. Uh, fight back. You don't really have a weapon, do you? So we get shot regardless. Can we see their face? Get a glimpse of their face. Ten. Woo! The figure covers their identity pretty well, but you can still see a few strands of brown hair. Distracted by your observation, you make an easy target. So yeah, we get shot regardless. So I'm going to possibly stop saving from the escape menu. Um just in case you peek inside it's just a janitor's closet hold up locked looks like the occupants out hmm all right what are you okay I cannot actually look at that truck. Huh? He, ju <laughs> he jumped the moment you get his attention. You're the new employee. The hell are you smiling like that for? It creeps me out. It's creepy. Super creepy. Ugh, 
fuck. They did say they have a new person coming in, but whatever. Stay away from me. I don't really want to see your face. Can you stop bothering me? No. I should have saved before talking to him. Give me a minute though, I want to see what he says for the other one. This just means I'm a liar and we'll continue to use the other save option. You're my co-worker, right? Yeah, I am. I handled the deliveries around here. Ugh, they did say they have a new person coming in, but... Whatever. Stay away from me. I don't really want to see your face. We're really cute. How could you say that? Anyhow. Hmm. Alright. You have two letters. Alright. Michelle Liu. Eurydice Knight. Empty mailbox is covered in a layer of dust. With map. Vault, you don't have the permit to go outside, do you? Please turn back. Okay. You're not sure where to deliver these letters. Okay. Hey, Kane! What do you want? Help. Huh? You don't know who these people are? Did that shitty priest not explain anything to you? He told me to ask you. F that guy. Seriously. I mean, he's kind of my type, so maybe... Ignore that. <laughs> Eurydice is the grocery store owner. Michelle, or is it Michael, uh, owns the florist. They shouldn't be too hard to find. Can you come with me? Huh? You're a grown ass man. Do it yourself. Fine. So much for easing my social anxiety. You stop bothering me. Help! Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Be careful. So I need his help. Let's keep trying, I guess. Finally! Okay, fine. I guess I'm your senior, so I'm still responsible for you, to some extent. Thank you. <laughs> I don't recognize you. A new face. Yeah, they finally got a new postman. About time. It's rare to see you babysitting. Do I look like I have a choice? I'm the only one who works there. And now there's two of you. Where do you come from? Dot dot dot. You try to remember anything about yourself. You draw a blank. Who are you? Is he the shy type? Huh? No, I don't... I don't know. He didn't talk much to me either. You should give her the letter. 
You take the yellow letter out of your bag and gave it to her. Oh, yeah, that's addressed to me. Thanks. Letter delivered. A phone. Do you have anyone to call? This is creepy. Look at these posters. Huh. An abandoned nest. You found a feather inside. You gained one quill. You all? You harvested a f I can harvest those? I would have been doing that earlier. Honestly, so far, this is other than... Doors shut tightly. You can only admire the plants from the outside. Um, despite being kind of creepy, this is a so far a cozy game. This flower is wilting from the lack of sunlight. Why is she letting it wilt? Doesn't she run a knock? Okay. Doesn't she run a florist? Like, shouldn't her flowers be healthy? I mean, I guess maybe not. You don't have an ATM card. Oh, well, damn. Fine. I guess I'll just keep working. Alright, so now we're looking for the general store. Should be them. <laughs> hey, who's the twink? New guy. Can you not call him that? Yes, he is. We are kind of a twink, though. Nice to meet ya. I'm Eurydice, but everyone just calls me Yuri. Rolls off the tongue easier, you know? Don't have a lot of things here. Wish I have a better stock, too. But that's what happens when you're in the middle of nowhere. Michelle complains about it all the time. Does she do that to you too, Kane? Not really. We get along fine. You think it's personal? That bitch always finds new ways to piss me off. I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to get dragged into whatever this is. It's toxic Yuri, Kane. What do you think, new guy? It's personal. See, he agrees with me. We're just here to deliver a letter. You took the green letter out of your bag, sliding it to Eurydice. Oh, delivering it directly. Thanks. Wish Kane's that nice. He leaves my packages out in the rain sometimes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe you should just have picked it up faster. I'm gonna call the post office's hotline and complain about you. Go ahead. It's not like they have anyone to replace me with. My mouth popped. If you heard that, I'm sorry. No answer. I'm not gonna try picking locks yet. Crate full of fake fruits. They're only here for the vibes, I guess. Where the, where's the real fruits? If you're done with the letters, we should go back to the dormitories and rest up. Huh? You still want to hang out? Don't go too late, okay? I still have my work to do, too. Well, do your work then. You don't have anything to deliver. You can hear someone inside. Knock. <gasps> Who's there? Please, leave me alone. I'm 
don't know. You should answer the door. Construction site. Do not enter. Garbage containers. Do you want to look through it? Yeah. They are arranged neatly in the corner. Try to look for something interesting. It's a mess of construction leftovers. You found some change. You received 10G. Hmm. It's locked. There is a sign on the front. Church is closed today. Come back another day. Fine. Hmm. All right. Kane, birthday, summer one. Your coworker, not the friendliest face, but kind of a pushover. A delivery man who is responsible for delivering packages. Michelle. Birthday, summer 24. A florist, stoic. It's hard to read her expression. A hard worker and a perfectionist. She strives to grow the perfect flowers. Eurydice. Birthday, fall 6. The town shopkeeper. Loud. Money focused. She seems too ambitious for a town this small. Looks like maybe we have three more characters to be introduced to. To the dorms. I have to leave. Still have some deliveries to do. You go and rest up. Just hop to your bed if you want to sleep. What? It's not because I'm worried, okay? I just... Don't want you to drag me down. Whatever. See you tomorrow. Day 2. Letters delivered. 2. Money earned. 20G. Mm hmm. A man quietly stands next to you. It was nearing the end of fall. Almost winter, no snow yet, but you still find the temperature to be bone chilling. Feel like I missed something. You tell him how warm your homeland is, how it's always summer all year round. He wonders if he'll ever get to visit. One day, when we finally get out of here, I'll take you there. Promise? Promise. Hmm. Someone's knocking on your door. Howdy. Hey, it's Sunday. We have church today. You look distracted, so I thought you might have forgot. That priest gets so damn annoying if we miss even one sermon. I'm not religious either, but we have to go. Well, I'm going first. You know where it is, right? Oh, also, we don't have to work on Sundays. You don't have to stop by the post office today. He seemed sus. You again. Please stay away from the gate. You don't want to get in trouble, do you? If you keep doing this, I'll have to report you. Go away. Seriously, this is your final warning. The company won't hesitate to dispose of you again. Damn it. I don't want to do this either, but you don't leave me with a lot of choices. Hello, yes. It's a failure again, unfortunately. Yes, I understand. I will take care of it. The guard left his station and took you to their custody. As you sit in the booth waiting to find out what will happen to you, you feel sleepier and sleepier until you can't keep your eyes open anymore. 
Game over. Is this one of the endings? Hmm. To church, I guess. I don't know if a game over is an ending or a... Or a, you know... Greetings. Hold this. She gave you some berries. Not like that. Put it closer to your face. You look good in red. What? Thank you. Thank you, you have good taste. Okay, so she likes feathers. Are you broke or something? You hardly ever buy anything. If you need money, I'll take all that shit you don't need. Don't worry about the shady stuff. If anything, I'll pay more for those. Ha! <laughs> You're really giving this to me for free? Thanks! Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. Alright, give me five. I'm gonna go pick a lock. Pick lock used. Alright, what's in here? We are intently tracking the result of our experiment. So far, the subject seems to act as we expected. We will continue to monitor his development. Hmm. Radio giving off static. Talking to it caused nothing. We found some change. Found a single letter. Gray letter. Hmm. Some books, mostly novels, they don't look well read. Hmm. That dress is smudged. You are forced to attend a really boring sermon. You mouth the words to songs you don't remember. Father Ken. You tug the end of his sleeve. What are you doing? Focus on the sermon. He goes back to ignoring you. Have you been adapting to your work well? No. Is that so? It's not a hard job. Why do you find it so unfulfilling? Did you hear that? What's going on outside? Am I gonna die? Whoa! You see Eurydice holding a shotgun. A trail of blood leading away from her. Hey, you just missed it, Mr. Postman. Jesus Christ, Yuri. That's excessive. Eh? Isn't that what they told us to do? Shoot anything weird looking? You're just straight up shooting someone because they told you to. Aren't you supposed to be the post office's obedient lapdog? What got you so scared? Pain, that was not a person. Humans don't walk on all fours, do they? You can turn that down a bit. See, even Michelle's agreeing with me. Begrudgingly. What happened? Uh, her, well, something came by and Eerie scared it off. That's right. You should all be thanking me. 
You look out at the forest. You can only see two orbs staring back at you. It already made too much distance for you to identify what it is. It's gone. Bullets are expensive, too. You guys should pay me back. But I'm a kind person, so I'll take the hit. Well, yeah, there's a reason why you're the only one who owns firearms here. The only one? Yes, I don't even know where she got it in the first place. Trader Secret. Well, show's over, so I'm going home. The shop's not going to open itself. Hmm. Even if I go outside, I won't be of any help. Sure, sure, sure. Eurydice did what needs to be done, but her smug aura pisses me off. What did you see? An animal. I didn't get a clear look at it. It was really quick. Come to think of it, Eurydice has good aim. I wonder where she learned to shoot. Something's wrong with her. Was it really a person? Um, well, I, I thought it was, but maybe I'm wrong. It moved pretty quickly, so... You, don't get any weird ideas and try to chase it, okay? Just go home. It feels unsafe out here. Hmm. So I'm not allowed to do that. Hey, you want to buy something? Jeez, okay, I know what you're here for. Those guys can't keep their mouths shut. Yeah, it was me who shot you on your first day. Why? Information! That's what makes the world go round. Didn't you notice? That priest's the one in charge around here. I wanted to know what kind of letters he got, but... Well, it's surprisingly boring. He has an ex-girlfriend in the city. That's all. Don't you want to go out too? It's so stuffy in here. I don't know. What kind of answer is that? Be more decisive. I tried leaving a few times, but they always caught me. Said they'll let me leave one day and I'm just making things worse for myself. But I've been here for like, forever. It's cramping my style. Sometimes I don't even remember how I got here in the first place. Hey, why don't you team up with me? We can find out what he's hiding together. Yes. Good boy. Here, I'll give you this. It's a kettle. You can use it to open letters secretly. Isn't that great? Just put the glue over the steam and ta-da, the heat will make the glue weak. Then you can seal it again. Use it in your room, okay? You don't want to get caught. Thanks. So I assume that maybe teaming up with her will lead to at least one ending. Alright, well we have a letter we can check. So I might as well. Painting of the sea. The paint's still a little damp. Blank canvas. There are a number of frustrated sketches haphazardly scattered all around it. A dirty coffee machine that has seen a lot of use. This is where she sleeps? There's no other place. That's kind of sad. Hmm. 
Let's open the gray letter. You are a traitor. The world's better without people like you. Go die. Hmm. What the hell is that for? Hmm. What if I deliver it to this poor terrified person here? The voice comes from inside the house. Is that for me? I I don't want it. Please, just burn it or throw it away. Let's see. I guess, do I have to go to bed or... Yes. Day three, no money, no letters. The candlelight blurs your vision. A man and a woman chant in an unfamiliar language, hands wrapped in prayer. The man beckons you closer. You mechanically recite the few words that you had memorized. Hmm. Open the law. Okay, two deliveries. Monday and Michelle. Hey, I got so many packages to deliver today. Man, I am not in the mood to drive. How has work been? Getting used to it? Once you get the hang of it, they'll probably let you go outside, too. Huh? There's nothing interesting, honestly. I'd just rather stay in town. It's just a bunch of towns that are similar to this one. Just with more strangers. Hmm. Alright, Monday. What do your letters say? Dear Monday, I wish I can forget you. Of course, it doesn't happen so easily. How are you? Please answer. You'll be laughing if you see what I look like now. Dear Michelle, I had always been your fan. Hearing news was heartbreaking, but your creation still touches me to this day. You're a big source of inspiration. Michelle is crouching down, intently staring at the flowers. She doesn't seem to notice you. Look at the flowers. Aww. The flowers look healthier than they did yesterday. Please? There we go. Between the soil, you can see hints of hair and cloth buried underneath. Hmm. Get her attention. Oh, I didn't notice you. If you want to deliver a letter, just put it in the mailbox. I'm busy. She continues to stare. There's someone buried under there, isn't there? You successfully delivered the letter. A notice of vacancy? According to it, Eurydice Knight has suddenly moved away. You can still walk around it if you'd like. Yes. <gasps> Is she the one buried in the flower patch? When you walked in, the computer is still on. Eurydice seems to have kept a diary of some sort. This is too weird. Even after everything that happened, moving into a town this shady is the last thing I would have done willingly. 
the memory of my move seems to be a blur, and when I start to question the other residents, they can't give me clear details either. Okay, so that one from January to March. So this is March 14th. A florist moved to town. Cold, but it's funny when I do get a reaction from her. She's hiding something. That much I can tell. The doctor moved away. It's too sudden, isn't it? He never even gave us a goodbye. The priest told me to stop asking questions. Sneaked around in the post office, Kane caught me and gave me a scolding. Told me that I don't want to know what they'll do to people like me. That delivery man knows something. I'm sure of it. After all, among all of us, he's the only one with a permit to go outside. Trying to butter up Kane with not much success. If anything, he pushed me away more. September 21st. That postman might be the key for my breakthrough. I can use him. The notes cut off here. Hmm. Mostly biographies and books about law. Plaid patterns everywhere you can see. A lonely flower. Strategically located on the ground to give it sunlight. Hmm. Fascinating that the florist's flower is wilting, but hers isn't. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. When you leave the house, it's already night? What? Hmm. Eurydice is gone? I couldn't say I'm surprised. She often says she's too good for a town like this. Who does she think she is? Hmm, no. Why should I go look for her? She must be happy to be gone. We're just neighbors. I talk to her sometimes, but my obligation ends there. Roses handle with care. He's not back from doing deliveries yet. Wait. You wait. What the hell are you doing here? Your room's downstairs. Well, Harry's diary said all that. Fuck! And I warned her to stop looking into it, too. Let's just go in first. I don't even know where to start. Uh, this is probably going to disappoint you, but I don't actually know much either. I just know that if you question the company and town too much, they'll get rid of you. I saw it happening to a few people already. They're lax with us because we work in the post office, though. I don't know why, either. I just know that somehow none of us ever got any letters or packages. That's it. Really, can you stop snooping around? I don't know what Erie told you, but it's pretty useless to go against them. If you want to go out so badly, you can just keep working and they'll eventually let you out. Like, I can drive to other towns now. Please work with me here. Sure. He sighs in relief. Good, you should sleep. We have work again tomorrow. Night. Hmm. Although things snag your mind, you continue to spend your days quietly as a postman. One day, you cannot find Cain anymore. 
With your co-worker gone, the responsibility of delivering packages now also falls to you. It's taxing, but you continued to work obediently until curiosity gets the best of you. You open up one of the packages. Every single box contains flowers. Why flowers? Alone, it's too late to find answers. You continue to spend your days quietly. Okay, so I have gotten endings. Let's say no to him. Yuri's diary said all that? Fuck. And I warned her to stop looking into it. Alright. No. Okay. Damn it, you really are this kind of person. Come here, I need to show you something. Look at this. You really don't remember this at all, do you? We took this together last fall. You didn't want to, but I forced you to do it. You went missing shortly after. You were a senior I trusted, so I spent some time looking for you, to no avail. So you get it now? I don't know what the hell happened between this and that. But if you get too nosy, they'll catch you again. And who knows what they'll do this time. It's already a miracle that you came back. Is he crying? I didn't mean to cry. This is embarrassing. He frantically rubs his eyes with his sleeves. Aww. You feel a weird sense of deja vu. You felt something click in your mind. Your name is Raphael. You are 24 years old. You have worked as a postman in this town for years. You like silence. But at one point, the monotony starts to feel suffocating. One day, a new face joins the post office. And your days start to feel less quiet. And that person was... You offer him a handkerchief from your bag. You always cry so easily. Fuck you, I don't. I just got emotional. Leave me alone. No. This is the third or fourth time. Huh? Wait, you actually remember me? Y you bastard! Why the hell did you pretend to have amnesia? I wasn't pretending. Things just suddenly clicked now. Like, I don't know, some kind of mother hen instinct? Mother hen? Okay, you do have amnesia. The old you would never say shit like that. I can't tell if that's a good thing or not. So, were we friends? Yeah, but I can't help feel like you're a different person entirely now, though. <laughs> but you're still looking out for me, right? That counts for something. Thank you. Creepy? Huh? That... You never used to smile at all. Seriously, it creeps me out. You were like... This calm, collected, cool person. You hardly ever talked. You usually just stand around mysteriously. Really? Well, I only kept smiling because that video manual told me to. Are you kidding me? That's it? If the company asked you to jump from a cliff, will you jump too? Give me a break. I literally just remembered my name like 
one minute ago. Well, start remembering more things so you can stop scaring me. How, how did I went missing anyway? Was it out of nowhere too? No, you actually talked to me before it happened. You said you're going to church to pray to the angel, which struck me as odd. You were never the praying kind. Oh, let's go there now then. Did you not listen to anything I said? The company's going to catch you and put you through some weird amnesiac blender again. What else do you suggest? You just want to stay here forever? I've only been back four days, and I'm already bored again. It's not much of a life. Well, no, but... Are you scared? No, I'm not. Fuck. Even if I'm not going, you'll just check it by yourself, won't you? And pretty much. I wish that damn amnesia got rid of your nosiness, too. Fine, I'll go with you then. Just to make sure you don't get in trouble. There's only one angel statue inside of the church, right? The big one in the center. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were talking about that specific one. You kneel down in front of the statue and pray. In your eye level, you notice a switch on the statue's base. You pressed it, revealing a hidden doorway under the altar. Ooh. Okay, let's head down. I'll stay here. Scared. No, I'm keeping watch to make sure you don't get caught, idiot. That priest can come back anytime. <laughs> Thanks. How nice of you. Just go and be quick about it. Alright. The post office's importance cannot be understated. The letters and packages from the living helps tremendously in smoothing out the process of moving on to the next life. I knew it! I knew we were in some kind of weird purgatory thing. A lot of souls that don't receive this encouragement eventually turn lost, losing their form and turning disfigured. That makes sense. The post office staff consists of those that don't have anyone. They are people who will receive no support from the living. With some extra work, they too can earn the privilege to move on. Hmm. Zone 99, also known as Nona Ginta Town. This special zone has a higher turnaround than other areas. Unsurprising since all souls here had their life cut short through murder. This results in a higher rate of letters and packages being sent by their loved ones. This however leads to a higher number of volatile and violent personalities. This zone has to be handled with a lot of patience and, and care. After all, every soul deserves redemption to allow them to move on. Hmm. A database with a lot of names on it. Which one would you like to access? Monday. Access not granted! Fine. A successful lawyer located in Las Vegas, known to take controversial cases, quite infamous in the area, also known for tacky ads. It's inaccurate to say she's a miraculous lawyer. For every win, she has a loss. She's simply one of the few people who'll take hopeless-looking cases head-on. In the end, a past client killed her in the courtroom steps. Aww. All right, Raphael. 
Okay, so we were a literature student. After proving to have cult cultish ties, his parents lost custody of him, and he was raised by his grandparents. Okay, so his parents were the cult ones. While trying to trace down his parents' whereabouts, he asked too many questions and got involved with some shady characters. Unfortunately, he got on the wrong person's bad side and they drowned him to silence him. I wonder if any of these characters are connected to any of the other games. I could see Silver Thread being a connection. <gasps> Oh, I wonder if Monday is connected to, um... Oh, what's her name? The Exorcist. Alright, Kane Foster. The youngest son of a manufacturing family, the Black Sheep. When his family got involved in a corruption case, they pinned the crime on him. Despite maintaining his innocence, he was sentenced to a decade in jail. His attempt to escape prison failed, resulting in his death. Michelle Liu. Access not... Access? Hmm. She's a special one. Or I have to be better friends with them. Multiple camera feeds. They are showing various locations in town. I was worried stepping on those would lead to something. Alright. Well, I have some information. Oh dear. I thought I warned you already. What happened to keeping watch? Um, he immediately found out what you're doing, so I can't really make excuses. Sorry. The church was already kind enough to give you a second chance, you know. And here you are, making trouble again. Kane, don't let this person lead you astray. Why do you think I'm on your side? Because once the higher-ups catch wind of this, they'll hunt you both down to punish you. It's not like it's your idea to break in, right? I know you. You're timid. Obedient. You don't need to take the fall for him. Well, you're right about that part. What now? You give Kane a look. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, let's not make it hard. Out of the corner of your eye, Kane mouths you an apology. It's the last thing you remembered. Anyway, that's basically it. You just look into the blue locker every morning and, and deliver letters. Does he look more frazzled than usual? It's not hard, right? Yeah, I think I can do that much. Well, the guy before you fucked it up. Yeah, we sure did. How so? I'll... I'll tell you about it some other day. Now come on, let's head out. I see. Also, I don't know if I said it earlier, but my VTuber's eyes were closed and I'm so sorry. Alright, maybe my final ending has to do with getting a better roll at the end. So we'll see if I can do that. I'm gonna try and get a better ending here. Even if I can't get all the information. Yes! Okay, let's not make it hard. The moment he's distracted, Cain raised his arm and hit him from behind. Oh, fuck, I've done it now! Good, good job. Don't good job me, I'm already regretting it. What should we do? He looks back at you, clearly lost. 
Well, first, let's get out of here. I need to tell you something. Coast's clear. Get in the car now. The two of you get into the car and it drove off, making your way out of the town's gate. I don't think he reported us yet, so we're good for a while, I think. That aside, if what you told me is true, then we're actually dead and this is some form of afterlife. Aren't we really just making things worse for ourselves? Maybe? Oi! Don't be so flippant! Our future is at stake here. But, see, I was already working as a postman for years. And they never said anything about moving on. So if there really was a system for it, I don't think it was working properly? I'm fed up with waiting around. You've also been stuck here for way too long, right? I get your point, it does feel like forever, especially considering how fast the other townspeople come and go. Ah, uh, okay, whatever happens, at least just promise to stick with me until the end. If you can promise that much, I don't mind whatever's coming. I can do that. With your future still uncertain, you drove off into the night. You don't know what to expect, but at least you're not facing it alone. Oh, so this would be the true ending. So cute. <laughs> okay, so the I did get all the endings then. There might be a new another ending added later. All right. Uh, before I do the outro, I'm just gonna do my shout out real quick. Thank you so much to my channel members for your support. It not only helps me, it helps the channel grow, and it helps the videos keep coming. I truly appreciate it. And now on to the outro. Oh, that was an interesting one. I kind of got the twist of us being already dead early on because I was like, this seems weird, like a pur like purgatory or something. I couldn't tell, but the story itself was fascinating. I quite liked it. You know, I, <laughs> I want to know if some of it is connected to the creator's other games, but maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't, especially if they, uh, especially if there's another ending added at some point. So that'll be cool. I look forward to it and I will get it if, uh, I will record it if it is added. But this was fun. I would say it was a very coherent game, especially one made for a jam. It, it was decently long too, which was surprising. Um, anyhow, if you made it this far, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of me, but you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I upload videos three times a week and I hope to see you all next time.